Hello everyone, and welcome back here. I'm stood out here in the the middle of nowhere for a very good reason, because down there is where my home is, or at least it will be. We had lots of fun the other day getting this ready and uh, setting fire to the wood, and it all worked really, really well. So let's let's chug a few potions and. That one there, okay, and as you can see, I've mostly got this gassed over now. So we'll do a little bit while we're talking, and then we'll have a look at a couple of bits and pieces. Now, this wasn't quite working. There was, for example, a big hole here, and I get the feeling that was because the um, when the... Uh, stand started to fall it caused some block updates into the caverns underneath this so the stuff I placed just collapsed down so but all in all this worked very well I think and I'm really really happy the way it worked and I spent a little bit of time here getting the glass on and as you can see we've just got a little bit left so what I think I'll do here is I'm gonna not make you suffer all of this. I'm just going to do this last little bit off camera and we'll come back when it's done and we can uh, take a little look inside. Yes, inside. See you then. Well, and there we have it. We have the whole structure covered in glass. And I need so much extra glass. I actually took away some of the sand from the front and went and smelted that down into glass to finish it off, but I'll go into that later on. There's one area that I haven't covered in glass yet, and there's a very good reason for it. And it's this one over in the corner here. Actually, do I have something that will be affected by gravity? Yes, I have gravel. That's great. Uh, reason for this is... I actually want to put a stairway up to the surface here. So... Spank. Oh, yeah, that's going to last a bit longer. So, I'm um, going to build this up here, up to the surface. I don't have quite enough grass on me at the moment, but I might start it off. And, come on, float. There we go, up you get. Right. The whole idea is we're going to have a central column going all the way up to the surface and a spiral staircase coming down to the bottom. And at the top, I am going to put a building. And this actually is a good time to start talking about one of the influences of this uh, this design. Um, I'll talk about the other one in just a moment, but uh, as some of you may know, I have recently been running um, a Let's Play in my live streams of a game called Bioshock. And if you haven't heard of it before, yeah, I think it's the best thing I can do. If you haven't heard of it before, it is a game set in. 1950s, 1960s, yeah, 1950s, I think. Uh, but in a fantastic undersea city built by um, a Howard Hughes type character called Andrew Ryan. And he built this city under the sea where um, artists could ply their trade and Scientists could explore strange new horizons unencumbered by common morality. Now, there's an interesting phrase, isn't it? Common morality. And as a result, everybody becomes completely jugged up on these uh, chemicals that give them psychic powers and go completely and utterly insane. And when our hero enters the city, all that he, he, uh, he finds is madmen city in ruins falling apart and the megalomania megalomania call andrew Meyer, ryan um destroying things and laughing madly while he's doing it but the thing i found really 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 fascinating was the idea of this lighthouse on the surface and then in the game a bathosphere takes you down to the city but in this case i think we're just going to have a set of stairways and i'm going to do this more or less exactly the same way as I did the rest of this. So we're going to build the glass around the side. And I think I might actually put iron blocks in the corners to give it some, some weight. And then all we're going to do then is ballast this out. 
with sand and gravel. So that will fall there and that will displace the water. Uh, so when I build this up to the surface, like this, and the, with the, uh, the, the framework around it, when I take this gravel away, that will all fall down to the bottom, and it'll just leave us with one air shaft gown, which I can then quite comfortably build a staircase on. Simple as that. Hey, right, so how am I doing? Okay, I've got a few more minutes, so let's just get rid of the last of this gravel. Come on. No, actually, let's stand on there, that'd be easier. Right, there we go. All right, doink, doink, and drop the rest of it down here. There's only a little bit. There we go. You see a few stacks of this. And we've filled out the space inside it. Uh, glass and I think iron around the edge of it. And then column up the middle, circular staircase up to the top. And that's going to be one of our entrances into my city under here but let's go actually inside shall we because well what's the point of building this place if you can't go in there so this is not going to be the final entrance i've just put something over the front of it just to seal it in so i could start working it in what the design's going to do is it's actually going to carry on down here at this angle underground and there's going to be an underground passage all the way over to where the cottage is and the cottage is going to be one of the other entrances the third entrance is going to be um, a, a portal into the nether but it can't be there for reasons I'm about to show you if we light the portal here bingo and I don't know this I'm guessing it it's all down to maths but I know I'm going to be right we go in there wibbly, 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 wibbly. We come out here. What's the problem with that, you say? Well, the problem with that is there's a little building here with some chests in it, and there's a ladder here going back to spawn. How do I know it goes back to spawn? Because I built this portal. And I built this portal because I wanted to go here. Basically, the portal down there is too close to this portal to um, create a second location in the nether. It's it's only about 30 or 40 different... Uh, it's only about 30 or 40 blocks out. I can't remember the exact numbers, but yeah, I did the maths, and the maths looked at me and said, you got it wrong, son. You got it wrong. So... We're going to have to come back to this one, unfortunately. I'm going to have to completely dismantle that one, which I don't really want to. Or just, no, it's a simple way to do this, is just make it a bit further back, which is what I'm probably going to do. I, want four, I can live without four more pieces of glass. Okay, so... this Well, this is basically it. So we now have... A couple of entrances. The there's because there's my water breathing potion, and I don't want to use another one. But now the the nice thing is because I've got the portal, I don't actually have to worry about breathing water and swimming up to the surface. Yeah, I've got to do it to get in there, but I don't know if I'm going to have to worry about it to get out. So rather than working on the outside, um, which is more or less done except for that column anyway. I was just going to pop out the inside and I'm going to show you guys, because a lot of people have asked me, just how I'm going to get rid of all the sand. And it's a lot easier than it looks, to be totally honest with you. I think I will take that chest with me. Let's have you. There you go. Um, don't use these boats. So I tell you what, we're going to set them free. Fly free, young boat. Be free. Um, mush, mush, off with you, off with you. And they just, just want to bounce around. I think they're just getting used to the environment, and you know, when they're feeling a bit more comfortable, they'll, they go off. They flock to the boats. They flock. They, they'll go off in their own, 
Doesn't it look different without the water breathing potions? But I just love the way the glow from the light here. I think that's just fantastic. And yes, I am getting distracted, but that is exactly what I was hoping for. And let's just shut the door there. The nice thing about the doors is they stop the uh, they stop the uh, the water from coming in. So there we go. We've got a portal to get us out. I want to drop down this chest here. And one of the things I want to do is just put in a flint and steel, so that way we uh, I know that uh, if ever I get completely stuck, I've got a way of getting out. I'll drop that in as well because I want that later on. But one of the things I want to try is I'm going to do it over here. I just want to have a quick look at what it'd be like if I replaced one of these with some glowstone. Uh, like that. Oh, that does light it up nicely, doesn't it? Okay. Because what I want to do here is I want to get this, this whole bottom layer up and I want to put the earth down. And I'm going to get some, I'm going to use my silk touch to get a few grass blocks and then we'll just build this out with grass and make it uh, nice and neat. But uh, um, the thing I want most of all is just get the edges here with, with dirt rather than gravel like this. And every now and again, so one, two, three, four, let's say every five, every fifth one, we'll put a glowstone block all the way around the edge. And that's just going to help you to help the uh, illumination. So the dirt there. You see? Okay, so we have the a layer of dirt all the way around. And I think it would just have well, it would have to have a path going down here into the center. It might wind a little bit, and uh, um, the 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 terrain is not going to be that even. And well. We'll come into that, okay? Because I think this is actually a good time to talk about the other thing that's influenced me in this game. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to show you how I'm going to get rid of the sand this quickly, just like that. So if you're quick enough, and sometimes you're a little bit too quick, okay, you can put the torch down before the block updates start to happen. And what happens then is, okay, if I just take this out like that. The, uh, the blocks fall to the ground and reform. But if I do this... Oh, jumped a gun a little bit there. Okay, the, the blocks can't reform because the torch is there. So all that happens is they fall as loose blocks, which makes them very easy to pick up and uh, reorder and by the sounds of it it looks like I didn't light everything up underneath this place because I just heard a zombie and that's one of the things I'm gonna to have to sort out so this is how this is how we're gonna get this um, cleared out quickly so with a selection of torches so and a bit of patience well, you've just seen how quickly I got with a run road. Just think how long it would have taken me to actually mine that individually, which would be quite terrible, I tell you, quite terrible. So that's... And it says a lot about this lag I'm getting at the moment, that I'm actually doing a lot of these before the uh, the block updates are happening, which is not good. Yeah, something was going on. I think it was my recording software, which has been annoying the hell out of me since it updated the other day. Um... Thank you very much, Brillis, for what you've done to action. Um, yeah, and at one point, it was using about 60% of my CPU capacity. I've got an 8 CPU PC. And this game was down to 4 frames per second, which, as you can imagine, was loads of fun trying to put blocks. I'm very glad you guys didn't actually get to see that part, because it was painful. Alright, so there we go, got all that. So this is basically, and I'm not going to bore you with it completely, this is basically how I'm going to do this. I'm going to just go through here, get all the blocks to update, and there you go, another row done in a minute or so. And this, as I've been trying to do, but keep on distracting myself, is a good time to talk about some of the influences I'm going to have in this world. Now I've spoken about one of them, Bioshock, and I think 
you guys can clearly see where that one's coming from. Another one is it's going to be I'm going to be um, getting taking a lot of influences from um, a film by uh, Miyazaki, uh, an anime um, called, and actually I think it was a novel by Diana Wynne Jones as well, called Laputa: The Castle in the Sky. Yeah, that one was fighting me somewhere the bottom of it. And in that in that uh, in that film. The uh, the aforementioned castle in the sky was well, it was basically um, a floating castle, but it had a wonderful garden feel to it, and it, it sort of um, and this and this 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 lost and deserted garden, this this last last remnant of a high tech world in the midst of you know, sort of. Um, I'd say probably a late renaissance, well actually that's that's probably unfair because there was steam age connotations to the world um, this was um, yeah this this was this was just sort of totally new and totally uh, wonderful and but because this castle had been so neglected, so abandoned for so very long apart from some mechanical guardians which I'm hoping to recreate in here and I think you guys are going to like them when you see them uh, the game yeah the, the, the whole place looked worn out and overgrown and I'm going to try to recreate that I'm going to give this a, um, a sort of got a worn out forest feel and I'm going to get some vines in and um, lots of plants and grass and I'll probably get some uh, I'd like to put some animals in, but I just want to, I'm trying to think of ones that I can put in that won't annoy me, to be totally honest with you. But uh, that's exactly what the plan is going to be. So the next step of this, I think, I'm going to do off camera, is I'm going to clear this sand out, and I will probably make that column up to the surface. And in the next episode, what I think I want to do is, uh, before that, is I want to strip all this down and put earth in, with some glowstone at places and things like that and then um, I want to work with you guys on dressing this up a little bit and making it look pretty but uh, let's just end this all but let's just pop back outside again and as we go up shut the door let's just take one final look in fact let's take yep let's just take one final look at that glowing eerily. Oh, that looks even better from the surface, doesn't it? Oh dear, that is going to look so, so fantastic when it's finished. Just glowing brightly as people pass by, perhaps to investigate the lighthouse, perhaps not. I'm so happy with that, guys. I am so happy that it's working out much, much better than I wanted. But uh, I've waffled on enough. I don't know actually how long this episode is going to be, so please excuse me if it's too long or too short. Probably too short. But until the next time, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Minecraft in the world of Arcadia. Thank you, and good night.